I'm Michael, Michael Thomas, and I'm 62 years old. I work as an actor. What you do when you come to a new house is to, is to kind of test the acoustics. Ma, 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 ma. So you see what kind of reverberation. So when you, when you get on stage, you don't get too many surprises. And this Cambridge is a, it's The a story is that about almost exactly four years ago, I went to the doctor and they said, look, you, you have got uh, myeloma. Although I didn't realize it at that time, I had a very aggressive kind of cancer. It's quite a gloomy prospect, to be honest. A large proportion of patients die within the first year. They're all dead, really, by 10 or 12 years. You know, that obviously affects you, and then you have the question of telling your family, telling your children, and all sorts of things, and how you deal with it yourself. <laughs> My name's Jeremy Bryce. I'm 28 years old. I'm a PhD student at the Geography Department at Oxford University. I happen to have a lot of friends who are medical students and the Anthony Nolan Trust, the organisation that runs the UK Stem Cell Donors Register, does a lot of outreach work with medical students. I kind of went, OK, so you can save somebody's life really easily just by having a very small operation or giving a little bit of blood and there's essentially no risk to you. That's really cool. A couple of months after that, I got a letter. I come up as a possible match from for someone who needed a transplant. 2011 had been quite a difficult year for me. My mum was actually diagnosed with breast cancer. I've just had the better part of a year of having a really, really bad time of it and having watched um, someone who I'm very close to going through this really horrible process of treatment. Somebody's just called me and said, you can potentially, if things go well, make that stop for this person and everyone around them. Yes, of course I want to do it. <laughs> Today, um, uh, Jeremy and Alicia are coming here to Cambridge to see The Hypochondriac, which is the play I'm doing at the moment. It's kind of a really lovely added bonus to eventually meet up with this person and then doing? find that you get on really well, yeah, too. Nice to see you. It's really great oh, to see you again. you too, you too. You got her it's kind of great to close the circle in that way and um, and sort of finally go, oh, wow, gosh. So this is the person and, um, and they're great. And, you know, because of this weird thing that happened a couple of years ago, they're still here. Wow. <laughs>